A £20 million mental health unit in Leeds is about to open its doors for the first time. Red Kite View will be the new home of West Yorkshire's Children and Young People's Mental Health Service and it aims to provide a much needed facility in the region. It's four years now since we first did the outline business case. It's the first of its kind for our region. We've not had this kind of facility on this scale before. Uh, so it really brings a step change in the ability to treat more children close to home rather than having to go long distances out of area. Currently there's only um, one eight bedded inpatient unit for the whole of West Yorkshire. So Red Kite View will replace that facility. It's a much bigger unit, more spacious. The unit has 22 beds across two main ward areas. We'll be looking after young people that have difficulties, um, psychotic disorders, depressive disorders, uh, young people that have emotional dysregulation difficulties, they might have self-harming behaviours that can't be managed in a community service or setting. We've got a great multidisciplinary team who can provide a whole range of things that help those young people with their mental health but also to help them to return to their communities perhaps a bit better equipped to manage life. One of the key aspects in the development of Red Kite View was the involvement of young people themselves in shaping how the unit would look and feel. We've discussed with a lot of the staff about how young people feel during treatment and care in an inpatient unit. At the end of the day, the young person knows themselves best. So working with the staff and also having the voice heard is going to make their journey on the inpatient unit a lot easier. We've worked with local artists, we've worked with national artists. We've tried to create a nature theme within the building as well. What we hope is that we've created a building that is bringing the outside in. My hope for Red Kite View is that young people will have a place where they'll actually be listened to. It'll be a place where you can do activities and carry on with normal life as possible. So when you go back out into the community, it's not like you've just been away from the world. I'm really keen that we here can work alongside those young people, so not doing to them but doing with them in order to be a really extraordinary service that does great things in the future.